Hey everyone, as promised, I wanted to do a quick video on how I make my coffee. Now, keep in mind, um, I am no expert on this matter. Uh, if you wanted some more hardcore videos, I'm sure you could find them or take a class in it. But in any event, this is just a very simplistic way of how I make coffee. All right, so I'm going to go through and make a nice cup of coffee. So the basically, I'm going to break this down into the most important things that I think uh, you need. Um, I, Again, uh, even though this looks hardcore, it, it's, I, as I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. So, with that, the uh, one of the biggest things um, I think that uh, is very, very important is a good uh, bean, obviously, uh, or a good coffee. So, I prefer the lighter roasts. Um, this is just at uh, one of the local roasters here in New York City. And uh, it's just, um, the lighter roasts are nice because... It brings out more of the actual coffee flavor. Uh, if if you get the darker roast, they're they're uh, they're a lot uh, darker, and, and to me they almost taste a little bit uh, uh, burnt, or they you know they've got that bitter flavor. So I uh, prefer a lighter roast to bring out the flavor. Um, I feel that grinding right before you're about to brew super super important. So that's why I choose to do that. Again, you could get away with not doing that, and uh, of course um, your water quality. Um, I just get this right out of the tap. Uh, I live in New York City, so uh, the tap water is actually very, very good. So, but if, if if you had like a lot of minerals or whatever in your water and you didn't want that flavor to come through, then I would probably just use bottled water. So, um, what I do is I weigh out the beans. So, right before I'm about to grind, I just weigh them out. So. The ratio is basically, this This cup is around 10 ounces, and it's pretty much uh, 1.6 grams per ounce. So since we have 10 ounces, it's just going to be 16 grams of whole beans. So I'm just going to zero out my scale here. And I also keep my uh, coffee beans uh, tightly sealed up in a nice dry container. Now, again, you don't need a, a scale, so uh, you may find that uh, two scoops would be equivalent to 10 ounces. Because um, right there, that was about uh, 8 grams. So if I, were, if I were doing this without a scale, I'd probably just use two scoops per 10 ounces of water. That way, 15.5. That's probably close enough for what you're looking to do. So again, you don't need a scale. Um, you could just kind of do this with a, uh, oops, you know, with a, uh, with a tablespoon here. So that's it. We've got them weighed out. Um, and then uh, I'm just going to quickly grind them. Now, while it's grinding, I like to warm up my water. So again, I, I have a kettle. Um, as we've talked about in my last video, I probably would never ever buy a kettle again. I would just do it on the stove in like a little a little uh, pot. But since I have it, we'll use it. Now the proper brewing temperature is supposed to be between 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, in the past, I used to actually uh, uh, use a thermometer to actually test that. I don't do that anymore. Um, I know you can over extract if you go over the temperature. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Basically, I bring it right to boiling and then I just let it rest for like 30 seconds and I haven't had an issue. So, uh, again, that's just what I do. If you want to go super hardcore, just make sure you're at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so then I just pour the beans in and we're going to start grinding while the water is starting to boil. So, I'm just going to grind. And uh, we'll be back after I'm done grinding. Okay, so we're done grinding. So I have my grind in here. And I'll actually show you what the grind is. You may have to play around. If you get this pre-grind, meaning if you get this ground uh, at a store, then you're pretty much stuck with whatever grind that they give you. As long as you just do, do it like a normal drip grind, you'll probably be fine. Um, I've had to play around with this a little bit. Um, but basically, let's put this in here. I'll just put this in here, and I'll just show you kind of... Um, the grind. So the challenge is you don't want to get it too fine because then if you get the grind too fine, the water's not going to go through fast enough and then you're going to kind of over extract the coffee and it may be bitter. Uh, and obviously if you get the grind too thin or, or, or too coarse, um, then the water's just going to go right through it and then you're not going to get the flavors. So um, this is, uh, it's hard to see, but this is the the grind that I that I prefer. It, it kind of, the best way I can describe it is it kind of feels like a, uh, like sand. 
um, uh, it's kind of uh, uh, like a like a finer sand, um, and 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 dirt is the way that I would describe it. Um, anything coarser than that uh, would be great for uh, a French press. Um, you want a lot more coarse, and then um, I, don't know, I think if you're doing espresso, I don't really drink espresso, so I really don't know too much about that. But I think that that's where you would use the much much finer. Uh, grinds. So in any event, just just the normal uh, kind of uh, grind that you would use for a drip. Okay, so we're going to pour in the, uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour in the water. Now, some people go crazy. They have a special pour to make sure that you hit all the sides properly. Um, again, I don't, you could do that, but um, I don't think that that makes that that big of a difference, personally. Others would probably disagree with me, but so uh, what you want to do is when you pour it in um, again. You, what you're supposed to do is is get it is is wet, just just barely wet, and I believe it's called blooming, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to let this kind of sit like this for about uh, 30 seconds, and you can see um, over in the corner it's bubbling. And that's some of the gas is being released, and that's why you're just supposed to barely, barely wet this, because it kind of allows this uh, releasing of the gas to, to happen, and then that's when you pour in the rest of your water. So, just kind of getting that all wet like so, uh, and then we're just going to wait. Uh, by the way, this is a sign of uh, very fresh coffee. Uh, it's something that you want to see. Um, if you don't see that, it's, it's either, uh, it's probably not that fresh, but. Yeah, so we're just going to wait uh, around 30 seconds, and then we're going to begin the pouring. Okay, so now I'm going to begin the pouring. And so what I'm just trying to attempt to do is just allow for uh, uh, as, as even of a distribution of the water as possible. If I were to pour this all in at once, what would happen is um, the, the grinds would kind of uh, uh, like do this like concave shape because... What would end up happening is the grind, the the water would try to find the quickest point out, and and basically all the grinds would come up on the edge, and in the middle there would be that's where the water would escape, and there would be no grinds. So um, to get like a nice even uh, extraction of the coffee, I try to uh, I just pour on the sides, and then that helps keep the coffee uh, even. I think. Again, all of this, I mean, I've also just taken all my water and just dumped it in there. I've gotten uh, a very good cup of coffee, so um, this is probably overkill. Again, my, my biggest criteria are the grinds and the water. Um, and, and then third on the priority list would be grinding it fresh. After that, um, you, really can't, uh, you really can't mess up. So this should take, um, we're not going to go... I'm not going to make you watch this whole process, but uh, this process should take, uh, I'm guessing, around five, five minutes, I think, is the preferred uh, extraction time. Again, I'm, I'm just making stuff up as we go. Now, of course, uh, compared to, like, the Keurig method, this is a little bit more uh, time-consuming. But again, I mean, in essence, look how much uh, simpler this is, right? It's just water, a little cup. And, and that's really about it. Um, so you can see the, the coffee is starting to, to come up on the side slightly, so I'm just putting my water on there, on the sides to bring the coffee, coffee down. Okay, that's it for the water. And then uh, we just wait for this to uh, go all the way through. Okay, that's it. And you can see for the most part it's a pretty um, even distribution of the, the, the coffee beans. So what I was saying is, like if your end result looked like something like like this, it basically just means that you poured way too much in the center, and what happened is the coffee beans came up on the sides like that. So you're not getting you're not getting all of the extraction around the coffee. So it's best to pour, I find, on the sides and kind of drive it down and do it slowly. But uh, anyway, that's it. Let's look at the uh, the end result. Oh, look at that! Surprise, surprise! It's coffee. Especially if you're doing your own grind, you may have to, to play around with the, the, uh, the grind thickness. Um, and, uh, you know, if people are interested, maybe I'll do a, a quick review on um, the, uh, the grinder itself. Um, it's a 
been a fantastic buy. It's I'm super, super happy with this grinder. So, uh, yeah, maybe in the future I'll do a, a review on the grinder and show you how to get the, uh, the different various thicknesses with the grinds. Anyway, uh, that's it to make a very uh, simple uh, cup of coffee. Um, the nice thing is... Um, uh, this would be actually really easy to travel with. Maybe not the ceramic, but um, you could get like a plastic one of these uh, for just travel occasions and uh, just bring your own beans and, um, you know, already ground. And in your hotel room, all you have to do is just heat up hot water and you've got a really, really good cup of coffee. I guarantee you a much better cup of coffee than using the, uh, the hotel coffee maker. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's how to make uh, drip coffee. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the video.